Hey you guys, so welcome back to my channel. It has been a bit since I recorded. You know, life happens so you don't really kind of lose time, track of time and don't have enough time, you know, to make videos and edit like you want. My life is crazy. So even though you see me tweet all the time, like half the time I'm at work or I'm like doing stuff for work. So I don't have as much time as it appears, but I wanted to do a, another room tour for you guys because I changed my room around and I feel like I finally got it in a way to where it's really functioning. And I wanted to show you guys like my lighting and how I set up my videos and for background and all that stuff. So yeah so this room is very small um before i had a table in here but it took up majority of the space in this room so now i just have everything on this little table right here and i just move it around as i need it so i can just fold the table up and put it to the side so it's not in a way if i really want to do like a type of recording where i'm standing up so i guess we can start by looking on this side so this side I mean it's just a, a empty wall um, so I have my camera facing here when I do my videos so on this thing over here I just have like all my foundation makeup and some of my hair stuff that container is actually empty um, that's just an extra charger and some medicine and a fan because sometimes I get hot up in here and then to the left I have all my hair products that I reach for that are in containers right here and I really have them on the ground for like if I'm recording like a video about hair I have it in arms reach and this container just has like some of my head scarves in it my blow dryers all that good stuff and some more hair products sit on top of there left I have my drawers I um, have been looking for like a decent set of drawers for like the longest so i actually found these drawers at goodwill and they were like five dollars each when i got them they were like a tan color so i actually had to spray paint them which is not too bad um and i just like the fact that these these shells are small they're not super big and they just i feel like they fit perfectly where i have them so on top of my shelves i have like all my lipsticks on top of here and i know it looks kind of scattered but i actually have them organized by brand and lip gloss and what whatever you have it i know some people they organize their stuff by color me it just makes more sense to organize them by brand because i can actually remember the colors according the colors i have according to what brands they are so I have like some lip glosses up here. Um, my favorite lip glosses right now are the the NYX lingerie, and this color is in. I forgot what color this is in. Number five. I forgot the name of this color. I think it's Beauty Mark. Yeah, Beauty Mark. So that's my favorite. I also got another one, and it's in embellishment. This is a nice color too. It's a lot lighter than the other color. Uh, my drugstore keeps running out of the other color, so I've only been able to pick up two because all the colors are really similar in that particular collection. Um, so here I just have my favorite body spray. I, think I just sat that there because I pulled out one of my purses. And then this is a lipstick that I got in my Ipsy bag. It's from, what is it, Tease Cosmetics or something like that. I haven't tried it yet. And then this is also something I got in my Ipsy bag. It's like a vivid, vivid eyeliner or something. It's like a silver eyeliner. So we'll see how that is. So here I just have all my MAC lipsticks. These are all the MAC lipsticks that I own. Um, over here I have all of my, what is this brand? What is this brand? Is it Maybelline? CoverGirl and Maybelline lipsticks. I think those are probably one of my favorites. And then I have some Jordana lipsticks. I have a lot of Jordana lipsticks. Um, I have a few NYX lipsticks over here and Mil Milani lipsticks. Some um, sample size lipstick. I don't, there's only a couple of them that I actually tried. set them up there um, yeah so that's on top so I 
I gotta move this out the way. So at the bottom, I have um, some magazines. I haven't, my magazines haven't been sent here. My subscription is probably up, but I probably need to renew it. Um, I have an extra camera. That's my old camera, but I use that. I move that around to vlog with. So if I ever go vlogging someplace, like in public, or when I would use the vlog in public, I would bring this because this I don't care if it gets lost or stolen because it's the old camera. And then I have some palettes up here. Um, some of these palettes are like just cheapy cheap palettes from um, what you call it, like from the drugstore. And normally these palettes I don't really don't touch until the holidays. Um, some of this stuff I probably should throw away because this stuff I have not used in a while. But I have my BH Cosmetics Palettes. That's one of my favorites. Um, I have my NYX Contour Palette. That's another favorite. I actually found this BH Cosmetics Palette at a Ross. And I was just surprised I found it. So I got that. And then there's some other palettes over here. Some of this stuff I probably should just go through because this palettes I've not touched in a very long time. I don't know why I still have them. Um, I have some of my smaller palettes right here. So my favorite palettes are these, um, the news palette. So my three favorite ones are is the original news palette. That's my favorite. And then the blush news is another favorite. Oh, I have four of them. The Brights, it's all right. It, I wasn't really a fan of it. And then the Smokes. So I have four of those palettes. I think they just came out with another one, but I haven't decided if I'm actually going to get it or not. Oh. So this next one, it has all my um, nail polishes in here. I really should go through this because I only use these nail polishes on my toenails. I don't paint my fingernails. I get my fingernails done. So I should probably go through that. And are we gonna focus again? Okay. So yeah, I should just um, go through that. Give them to some friends that actually are gonna put use them for something useful. So underneath here are some more palettes. These are um, the little small drugstore palettes. These I probably I have not touched in a while either. Like I kind of pull them out as needed. So these are all my Wet and Wild little itty bitty palettes. Um, these containers are actually sun, old sunglass containers. You can see this is rough at the end that I got from work. So I use them to store my makeup in. Yeah, so there's like some stuff in here that probably needs to be thrown out. These are all my NYX palettes that I don't even really touch anymore. They're just here for show. And some more palettes. Yeah, I'm not about to pull them out. There's just a lot in here. Um, then I have my eyeshadow singles. I kind of have them organized by like colors. So I have like all my yellows and golds in here. And then I have these look like eyeshadow bases. Um, these are my blues and purples and stuff in here. I have some cream blush that I don't touch. Probably should those out. Um, I have some eyeliners in here, colored eyeliners, and I think there's some more bases in here too. And then this one, I think it's just all like my shimmery stuff in here, yep. pinks and purples and all that stuff in here. Right here, I have some blushes. These are like the blushes I kind of pull for pretty often, so I just threw them in here. There's some stuff in here that I haven't even opened yet. So like this, I haven't even opened this. And it's funny because I was just looking at this at the, at the store the other day, and I was like, hmm, I should get it. But luckily I didn't because I already have it. So maybe it's a good thing that I'm making this video because there's shit in here. Excuse my language. There's stuff in here that I haven't even worn. Yeah, so these are just blushes that I kind of pull for often. Um, they're just like my, I guess my favorites right now. Some of this stuff, like I got like at Ross. I really like, um, the limited edition, um, blushes from Milani. And I got them in two colors. I got them in this, the Coral Go Grove. And I have another color. I think it's in my makeup bag. 
and then my another favorite is hard candy but i don't think they still make this they still sell this at walmart because like i legit used to like when i would run out like this one what is this one called bombshell every time i run out of bombshell like i would go back and buy another one and i swear i've i've gone through like freaking like three or four of these in my lifetime because i like it so much um oh another favorite and this is like great for like traveling but i kind of feel like these blushes are more like um holiday blushes let me see if i can get this open Yeah, but I kind of feel like they're holiday blushes because I don't really wear like a lot of like mauve colors. But yeah, so this is the Elf, the Elf Quad Blush Quad, which is really nice. And it's in, I think it's in dark. Yeah, it's in dark. And, yep, some Elf blushes, H&M blushes. I have some glitters over here. I should probably go through these and pull some glitters out because some of these will be nice to do holiday looks for. So like this Fantasy Makers confetti glitter, I didn't even use last year when I was supposed to. I think I have some purple glitter in here too. Like these are just pigments and stuff. And I swear like I only touch these during the holidays. I don't touch these any other time. But yeah, I'm just gonna pull this glitter out because I think this will look nice. With something that I was thinking about doing for the holidays. This right here just looks like more mess that I just don't touch, so it's just there. Um, some highlighters, yep, highlighters, contours, powders, all in here. This is something, I used to use this like religiously, and I don't even use this anymore. I think I bought this, this Luminizer from Hard Candy. I think I bought this like before, like even using stuff like that. Highlighters were even a thing. Yeah, and some more face powders. I buy a lot of face powders, but there's only like certain ones that I like. So like right now, my favorite is I like the Nuance um, face powder, and another one I like is I have it in here, the Elf translucent powder. Uh, lately, I've been using my Elf translucent HD powder. That's been my favorite too. But I don't know why I waste my money buying those other ones because I get them. I don't even like them. Okay, so this is like some more bronzers and blushes that are kind of just together. Yeah, probably stuff I don't really touch, so that's why they're in here. Yep. Um, another place that has good blushes is Jordana. Their blushes are like five bucks, and they're really cute. Yeah. So as you guys see, I use a lot of drugstore products. Ugh. Okay, so over here is a whole bunch of makeup bags. I have Ipsy, so with Ipsy, every month they send you a new makeup bag. Um, it's just a color wheel. That's great if you're trying to figure out which colors complement each other. More makeup bags in here is like some lotion, um, sample size stuff for my Ipsy that I threw in there. Some more sample stuff at the bottom and like another makeup bag. So, my back is like, my back is killing me from, um, damn, working out all week. Okay, so here, this is just like what I set my makeup on when I'm getting ready. If I'm, if I need to move this out the way, like I fold, put everything up and fold it up to get out the way. I know this is like kind of weird that I do my makeup on this, but it's just functioning for this room, what I'm trying to do with this room. So that's why I have it right there. Um, this is my little book, not bookshelf, my shelf. So on top of here, I just have some necklaces. Some of these necklaces are new, so that's why they're sitting on top of here. So I just put them... I like, I'm the type of person, like, I have to leave stuff out. If I don't leave it out, I forget that I have it. I still have clothes in my damn closet that have tags on them. So, yeah, so this is just out so I can remember that I have it. So I can remember to wear it because that's just what I have to do. These are just a whole bunch of watches that I still have not took to Walmart to get um, batteries for. So they're just out here. Um, I have my watch that I wear to the gym or the beach because it's waterproof. And then... 
I know this looks like a little cheapy cheap watch, but this is actually if you guys ever heard of um crap let's on this go. If you guys ever heard of Swatch, they make like really nice watches. So this watch is like Swiss made, water resistant, has like a year warranty on it. It was like I think it was like sixty bucks at Swatch, but yeah, it's this really nice watch and I plan on like probably collecting them because it's, it's just really nicely made. Like it looks cheap, but like when you touch it and put it on for the material it's made out of, it's really nice. I wear this one for work. So in here is just some necklaces um, that I put out for like kind of display. Some of the stuff is stuff I have not worn. It's just here to you know look cute. There's drawers, but I'm not gonna open them because it's just stuff thrown in there and it's unorganized. So. And then I have a, my little TV right here. I got this little TV so that I can plug it up to my camera, but I also watch Netflix on it. But, yeah, so it has many purposes. Some studs. I always buy cheap studs because I lose them. So they're all in there. Um, I'm not going to open all these drawers, but in these drawers are, like, makeup that I just, I'm not touching. I should probably go in here and pull out some stuff to rotate some stuff that I should try for this. The winter time, there's, there's some makeup that I only pull out for, like, really hot summers or, like, the winter because the weather is a little bit different. And then here is empty stuff. Yeah, I don't know what's in the other drawer, so I'm not going to open them. I'm not going to, you know, act like I have every drawer organized because I don't. One thing, if you guys haven't noticed in my room, I have... I have my camp, my uh, lighting. So the lighting that I have is I ordered from Amazon. It's a three-point lighting, so it comes at three stands. One of my, one of them broke, but I've had this lighting system for like over well over a year, so it happens. But there's this lighting system that I got from Amazon. It was like 50 bucks. So that's my lighting that I use. Um, get a close up on it. So it has like the umbrellas and the bulbs. So for our you YouTubers that are on a budget and don't want to spend, you know, you're not rich and you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on lighting, this is what my lighting is. And then as you can see, like that that big um sometimes I don't even need this lighting. Sometimes that window is just enough, especially in the mornings. So um, in this room, I actually keep my clothes, too, so I'm going to show you guys real quick. Um, it's not organized, so, you know, it is what it is. So, these are just some of my shoes that I have. Those brown shoes, I've never worn. I wore those. I bought those, like, one year to wear in the mainland because I was going to go in the wintertime. I just never wore them. Those are my Converse's that I have. I have another pair somewhere that are pink, too, but these were, like, a tie-dye pink. And some flats. So this is my little closet that's just like kind of messy. So at the top I put all my nude shoes. Do I have enough shoes and nude? No I don't. I could probably add some more to it. So I just have some of my nude shoes up here. Um, one of my favorites is this one. This one's really cute. That's one of my favorites. And do I have another favorite? No, I have another favorite. But yeah. And these are my clothes. Normally they're organized by like color and dresses, but I just did laundry, so I just kind of just threw them in there until I get them organized. So whatever. Up here is a whole bunch of shit that needs to be organized too. So it's like a whole bunch of, I wear a lot of dresses. So it's a whole bunch of dresses and skirts. I have some shorts in there and a couple pair of jeans. But for the most part, I wear a lot of dresses. Um, underneath are some handbags. Underneath is some more handbags. Um, to the right is some more handbags. Some shoes that are in boxes. Some of them are tennis shoes. So I have like some Jordans down there. And then in the middle are just some more heels. These are part, these are more of the stuff that I reach for more often. I need to find a better organizing system for this closet. Maybe I should like get a little drawer or something and put it in here. I don't know. Probably. Yeah, this probably sounds like a plan. Because I'm actually running out of space in here. And then I just have 
some handbags right here see um, in comparison and I try to link my old video in comparison to what I had before is I made this room more functioning and I feel like it does what I needed to do and I have all the space that I need to record and you know change stuff up I really like where I have my green screen at so now I can do more stuff with my green screen and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching um please do not forget to rate comment and subscribe follow me on instagram and on twitter bb hawaii underscore please be sure to check out my website it's www.brownbeautyhawaii.com and i will see you guys soon bye bye Hey guys, be sure to check out my other videos. I make beauty videos, my advice videos, and my hair videos. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my Instagram and my Twitter, which is bbhawaii underscore. Thank you guys so much again, and I will see you guys in my next video.